Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? It is Nick here, back with another video today. Uh, today we're actually going to be talking about something that I've been talking about for a very long time, which is District 0X, aka DNT. You guys know that I tweet about it pretty much all the time. It's one of my biggest bags, you know, next to XRP and, you know, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's dive into it. I just want to give a quick update and say... That I'm going to try doing at least two videos a day. Now, I know that this is going to be quite challenging for me just because like I'm very busy during the day. But we're going to try doing it. If I can't do it, I do greatly apologize. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to try my best. We don't really have to do long videos every time. Uh, that's kind of why I want to do just a quick breakdown of District 0X where I see it going this bull run right now we're kind of trading at 37 cents and a half almost uh we've seen some very very nice price action today and i kind of just want to get this out there because i've been kind of talking about this project since it was five cents and you know i didn't have a youtube channel then so you know here we are now <laughs> just know that if you do follow me on twitter you hear it first before i do make a video just because at the end of the day this really isn't you know my main thing that I do all the time. This is kind of like my side thing that I do. Uh, so definitely follow me on Twitter if you guys already don't um, and pretty much have notifications on because I really only tweet uh, the holdings that I do tweet and pretty much do updates on them as well as like Bitcoin and stuff just to kind of keep the market to a minimum. So nonetheless, let's dive into this project. So realistically you know i came about district 0x it was back in like i would say the middle of december and i really didn't pull the plug on investing until it was like around five cents uh kind of sucked because <laughs> i could have gotten at like three cents but hey it's not a problem i'm fine with you know getting in at five cents and being up like over like six times now so yeah, so let's read about it. A network of decentralized markets and communities create, operate, and govern, powered by Ethereum, Aragon, and IPFS. Pretty cool, pretty straightforward there. I love their website, by the way. Uh, this is like one of the coolest websites that I've seen uh, in a while. So, what are districts? Districts are marketplaces and communities that exist as decentral decentralized auto anonymous uh, organizations on the District 0x network all internet citizens will be able to deploy districts to the network free of charge forever all districts possess the following core functions well functionalities uh, posting and listings search and filtering ranking and reputation payments and invoicing by the way um, I've been very bullish on projects like districts similar to like mana Again, I even mentioned this with XRP, where we're seeing NFTs being built on these projects. That is a huge uh, point right now, just because, like, you know, it is a bubble. <laughs> I think that at one point in time, NFTs are kind of just going to be, you know, something that are looked back on and say, I can't believe people were actually making money off of this. I strongly believe that NFTs are kind of like that, but there's no reason why we can't capitalize on that at this point I, I think they're going to be around for a while as well so um but the reason why i mentioned that is district is actually going to be building something similar to that it actually has an nft portion to it i believe already so it's pretty cool uh so yeah i mean here we go they kind of give us a breakdown of like how it works pretty much you know we get into governance by aragon but we'll get to that point uh, so the D0X uh, infra framework at the core of every district is the, you know, infra framework. I'm just going to say infra, just kind of short it uh, framework, a stack of Ethereum smart contracts and front end libraries distributed on IPFS, which power a district's basic functionalities. Infra is designed to be open and extendable, allowing districts to implement unique features and enhanced functionality via the plugin of auxiliary modules, which is pretty cool, man. Uh, but no, seriously, like what they're really doing here is allowing the investors, so me and pretty much anybody who's invested in here, uh, to build on their framework and pretty much make projects as a team kind of in a way uh, I guess that's like the best way that I could describe it uh, 
which is pretty cool. I mean, it's something that we're kind of seeing a little bit with like XRP with like the ledger and stuff, but like that's really, you know, kind of out of this zone. It's something that's like kind of really, really, you know, highly experienced sort of stuff that you have to build on there. Uh, here you can kind of pretty much build anything. You, it's really kind of freedom based in a, in a way, which I really like. So uh, governance by Aragon. Aragon is a revolutionary new platform for the deployment of unstoppable virtual organizations and entities. The creation of a district on the District of Zero X network will establish an accompanying uh, Aragon entity where all the district's governance and decision-making processes will be executed. It's pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, this is what I was talking about. So this is a meme factory. Now, <laughs> I know it's kind of like a joke, but... Uh, we actually have, as you kind of guys could see, my my NFT thing is kind of popping up. That's because this is an NFT pretty much based website. <laughs> now I know that there's some uh, some memes here that are you know kind of out there and offensive. I apologize. It's not me doing this. This is just the marketplace. But yeah, I mean this is pretty much just NFT memes. It's pretty cool uh it's something that i think could be a huge market in the nft sort of thing uh that is if you guys are into that kind of thing i mean it's nothing that's gonna make the price go to ten dollars or anything like that but hey it is something pretty cool uh but we could check out some other stuff like you know we got name bizarre and ethelance which ethelance is pretty pretty big as well um because it's kind of like I would say it's almost like Indeed. Uh, I guess that would be the best way to describe it. It's like hire or work for uh, Ethereum, which I think right now... Oh, yeah, it's because... Okay, yeah, it's because we're trying to fix something very important. So yeah, so this is kind of still in the works, I believe. Um, and then we have also Name Bazaar, which is, again, still kind of you know getting updated. But this is kind of like GoDaddy in a way. Uh, which is like, you know, domain names for sale and stuff like that. Again, uh, it's pretty cool what they're kind of doing here. Uh, they're pretty much basing everything off of Ethereum. You could pretty much purchase anything with Ethereum. But I, I really like the Ethlands thing where you could hire people with Ethereum, which is kind of cool. I mean, that's something that we really haven't really seen. But future District Zero X projects will be here. And we could also make our own, like I said. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's actually something that we haven't really seen too much in the space, but I think if, you know, the right amount of projects that are legit, they're really good and stuff come out, that they could really capitalize on that specifically, and that will really boost the price right now. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it for the projects that are built on there. We only have three right now until... Everything is launched, which in our roadmap for district, they pretty much tell us that. So, you know, volume, well, version 0 0.1, I should say, uh, prior to contribution period, release final draft of white paper, three outside audits of the District 0x contract. And then these are all kind of, you could see which ones are completed by the check mark here. Uh, and then which ones are not. So deploy infra, migrate Ethlance to infra, which I guess that's why Ethlance is kind of down. Uh, deploy Name Bazaar and Meme Factory, which are kind of deployed. I guess uh, Name Bazaar is kind of doing an update sort of right now. Um, and then prior to contribution period, uh, version 0 0.3, deploy five new districts to the network, deploy staking and governance modules, which this one is actually done. Staking is actually a huge thing now. You guys already know staking is key to a lot of some, well, I would say many of these projects like Zill, you know, staking is huge. Um, I think, I believe ADA, you could stake it as well. I'm, I'm not sure on that. Uh, I, I didn't really read too much into it. I'm not really holding a lot of ADA at all. So uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, district extendability via auxiliary modules as well. Uh, following contribution period, version 0 0.3. Again, this is in the same one. Uh, deploy district creation platform. Deploy auxiliary module regist uh, registry, which we already have the network uh, registry for district. 
um, hand over governance of the District 0x project to District 0x network token holders, which is really cool. I mean, that's really never been done before, I don't believe, at least. Uh, so, here is uh, the District 0x network token. To provide all internet citizens with an opportunity to freely join and contribute to any district to align incentives across all of district's participants and to implement coordinated decision-making mechanisms to the District 0x network, we introduced the District 0x network token. So, uh, pretty much this is allowing people to work as a team to build on district uh, essentially and pretty much make these projects come to life like I said in the past you know if you could get the right project built on district then it is uh, incredible I mean like the sky's the limit now it's gonna take time so it's gonna be a longer bit of a hold if you want to see like massive gains like ten dollars or something like that but who knows I mean realistically I think we have like a six six hundred and seventy million market cap or uh, supply, which our market cap's not even touching, you know, a billion dollars. We could actually just look at that real quick just to make sure. Because I just want to make sure that, like, we have pretty much all the information here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, market cap is 226 million, uh, circulating supply is 600 million. So, yeah, I was pretty much right. Uh, total supply is one billion, uh, so that's nothing, as you guys know. Uh, this is pretty much the chart here. You know, we already did surpass our all-time high back here, and we're kind of still fighting against our all-time high just recently at 45 cents. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it. This looks incredible. We consolidated here, and now we're kind of just pumping up. Uh, but this was our all-time high in 2018 during the bull run. We already surpassed that. I don't think we stopped there at all. I think we're in full-on price discovery once we hit 45 cents again like we did recently. And we're currently trading at about 38 cents as well. I could kind of see that here as well. Uh, we could see it here as well. I'm kind of looking at trade view with my amazing chart that I grew <laughs> or that I drew. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, the, the District 0x network token... Uh, is a multi-utility token which is required for application to the District 0x network utilized in an incentivized voting game to dictate access to a, su a suite of ancillary uh, services exclusion to network members used to signal support or disapproval for proposals made by network participants and which can be staked to deposit pools to mint tokens providing uh, district specific voting rights on third party platforms such as Aragon. Also, by the way, <laughs> I apologize if, like, um, you know, like, my reading sucks right now. It's just, like, I'm very tired. It's, like, 5 a.m. But I want to get this out there because I think, uh, realistically, we're still early on District. You know, it, it might be almost 40 cents, but I still think that we're very early on it. Like I said, when I was buying that 5 cents, I thought, wow, I'm late to the party. But I really, at the same time, I was looking at the graph from a... From 2018 I said you know we still got a long way to go and guess what we're pretty much at those price points so once we surpass 45 cents price discovery kicks in and who knows where we go uh, my eyes are on about one dollar and fifty cents to two dollars I think that's a safe you know point but I think that we even go higher depending on the projects based on this um, this asset so Voting rights can be used to partake in the pro processes that determine everything from a district's design and branding to its functionality to its accepted code of conduct to the integrations it utilizes and beyond. And then, you know, they listen to community feedback all day long. Um, they're actually very, uh, very good with updates on their social platforms. They also interact a lot with the investors. They do live streams on Twitch actually talking about, you know, districts in the future district registry and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but overall, I mean, what they're building is pretty much, you know, a decentralized market for everybody to, like they said here, you know, create, operate and even govern, uh, which is actually really cool. Uh, you know, we don't really see a lot of that at all. Um, you know, we do see some like you know, mana where you're basically playing a game and you could create stuff in the game, which is awesome. Uh, but, you know, we never really seen a project, at least 
I haven't, where they allow investors and even like people just around the world to work together to create these projects, which is really cool. So the project was founded in 2017 with the goal of launching a network of decentralized marketplaces to eliminate rent-seeking, facilitate community-governed uh, economies, and to relinquish third-party data collection. Um, and then in recent months, five production studios have received contracts to build infrastructure and marketplaces that were outlined in the project roadmap. Most of the project's branding and design work has been conducted by Grifflin Design. Administrative support and community management has been provided by Sorcerers.io, a strategic uh, advisory consulting service, and then consistent with the, its decentralized nature. Uh, District Zero X is continuing to work with a broader range of deployment uh, or development teams to assist in this. In the first half of 2019, we are opening up the bidding process for work to interested outside parties accepting proposals from teams or tasks of all types, including not only development of future districts and modules, but also administrative marketing or community management tasks. Also, <laughs> I just want to do a quick update where we have broken fully above what I tweeted out on Twitter. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, like I said, definitely do it. It's in the description. Um, I made this graph. When we were here, we didn't really follow this uh, one, two, three, four, five, but I believe that we followed the ABC pattern in which we are, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I just love to, I love to see projects like this really pumping right now, and I mean, me personally, I wouldn't buy into this pump because I think that we could get another buy down in this 36 cent range which is interesting i don't don't take my word for it but like i said uh i'm kind of just doing some research for you guys and pretty much telling you hey this is where we are um but yeah i mean i think realistically this is a great project i think what they're doing is really cool they're really letting investors kind of work with the team which in my opinion is really cool um you know, they tell you how they work and stuff like that. You could pretty much learn more about, you know, a lot of the stuff that directly, you know, correlates with the project. Uh, they also have, you know, full transparency, like their wages, which is cool. Uh, I don't see, you know, like they really tell us, which is actually, this is actually very interesting because I really never looked into this, but I think this is really cool because, you know, they, they have, you know, this is just for contractors and they're making like over a hundred grand a year which is really cool i actually think this is awesome uh their pay seems <laughs> incredible uh but yeah i mean hey if you need a job there you go um but not only that but they also see like you could see like project uh contributions to the multi-sig wallet uh, they already have their public roadmap like i said you know this is pretty much it. They kind of tell you what they're going to be doing. They're upgrading everything, which is cool. Um, and then they also have a repository as well that pretty much shows all the stuff. And then they also have quarterly updates. Uh, pretty much everything <laughs> is right on paper for us to read. Um, and they're really transparent on their Twitter too. If you guys don't already follow them, it's pretty much just District Zero X. Uh, like I said, they are on Twitch. They do stream. And not only that, but they also have a Discord, which I love compared to the Telegram uh, channels. I, I just think Telegram is so dated, in my opinion. I, I I just don't like it. But, yeah, I mean, they are really active uh, compared to a lot of projects that I do see. Um, you know, they do updates here and there. They really talk uh, live on Twitch about where they see the project going. And... I just think it's cool that they're working with the investors and everything. So with that being said, let's check out the price chart. So originally, uh, when I tweeted out the price charts for this and kind of did the price charts, my my target is 40 cents right now. I think once we hit 40 cents, we go into a massive parabolic state. Uh, but I had two um, situations that could play out. 
which was the ABC, which I think that we're really seeing right now, uh, which is the, you know, A, B, and then C. We kind of traded a little bit sideways and kind of down here, but I think for the most part, this is, uh, <laughs> this played out perfectly. I don't think this could have played out any more perfect than what I kind of tweeted out. I said, hey, we're going to 40 cents most likely here off this ABC. We're pretty much there. We're literally a cent, like one cent and 20, like point 20, yeah. So, uh, definitely follow me on Twitter if you don't, because you get these updates <laughs> as I'm seeing them. Uh, but ultimately, where do I see this project going? Um, you know, we already surpassed our all time high um, from the 2018 bull run, but we did not surpass our all time high of recent, which was 45 cents. I think once we hit 45 cents here, which <laughs> seems to be happening very soon, uh, I think that we go into a parabolic state where I think we're going to see most likely a run up to, well, if we kind of look into this, we can kind of just draw a bar graph up. So I think it's going to be something similar to this, where we most likely hit that 40 range. We probably get knocked down a little bit. We'll probably get a pullback. Um, but I think most likely something similar to this would play out. And then we'd, obvi we'd obviously get to that $1 mark um, at some point. Like I said, I, I, I definitely think that this project will go to a dollar. I, I mean, realistically, with what they're building, they already have the NFTs on there. Like, that that's a solid project already, like the meme <laughs> NFTs. I honestly think that that's actually really cool just because memes are a huge market. I, I know a lot of people aren't really, you know, familiar with it. Like, they're just like, oh, memes are just funny, like things like nobody really makes money off of them. But a lot of people are actually in the market of selling meme Instagrams where it's just literally memes and they just sell meme accounts <laughs> and they do sell for you know decent amounts they sell for like over a thousand dollars and so so it's pretty pretty good <laughs> i mean it's a pretty good market especially if you're mixing in nfts which are collectible i think that's really cool um but yeah uh let's kind of look into where we would be on percentage wise if we did hit that dollar from where we are now because we all love those percentage gains so at around a dollar we would be at about 160 percent give or take which isn't much in this market i mean 160 percent gain is real realistically nothing i mean it is awesome <laughs> don't get me wrong but it is really nothing in this market uh i think realistically uh, long term or maybe even this bull run i think we could see upwards of let me just pull this down a little bit I think realistically we could probably see that five dollar range in which from where we are let's kind of just do from forty cents if we went to five dollars, it would be about a twelve hundred percent, which I think twelve hundred percent is decent I think that's a I think that's a healthy pump to be honest uh most alts in 2017 kind of did a thousand percent it all depended on the project and pretty much volume and the price of course and i think with newcomer money with what i call noob money where people don't really research projects like i mentioned in my xrp video where you just have people that don't do project research at all they don't know anything about the project which at the end of the day um you know when we are going into like a bull run or an alt season you can pretty much buy any coin and make a profit but we're really aiming for those you know big profitable coins and i think district is that i think we could hit five dollars no no problem um 
you know, we have a total supply of 1 billion with 600 uh, million being the circulating supply. Which means, uh, you know, even at $5, we'd only have a 5 billion market cap if we are taking the total supply into play here. Um, I, I, I just think that this has no real limitations. I think that District does have a solid project behind them. Not only that, but I think that they have a solid team as well. They just, we don't have a lot of people talking about this. And, you know, I like to get into things like that, uh, where we don't have a lot of people talking about District. We, you know, that's the coins that pump the hardest because you are early on it. You don't want to be jumping into something that already pumped over 40% and everybody's saying, oh, dude, like, you know, this coin's going to a dollar, it's going to a dollar, it's going to a dollar, and you fumble it in at, like, you know, 50 cents, and then all of a sudden you're on a loss and you have to wait for it to pump. Uh, with District, you know, I think maybe one last pullback into, like, the 35 cent range would be healthy, I suppose. Um, I'm not betting on it because I'm already hodling, but, you know, do your own research. And if you want to FOMO in, you could FOMO in, uh, you know, I think we're not even in alt season right now where we have a long ways to go still. And by long ways, I, I think it's right around the corner. I just think that we have to wait a little bit and be patient, uh, because I think it's going to happen. It's just going to happen in about, you know, two weeks or so. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, definitely follow me on Twitter if you guys don't. I know that I've been kind of saying it a lot. I just want to help you guys out, and I don't want to deliver you guys the news late. Like, I still have to render this video and upload it, so it's going to probably take me about two hours. And in two hours, you know, price action could ensue, and this could be at, like, 42 cents or something like that. And you can miss out on four cents on each share, which is pretty big, you know, if you, if you do hold a lot. But, like I said, December 23rd, I said, you know, <laughs> today was a red day, actually. I don't even, I don't really remember what happened on the 23rd, but I do know a lot of coins were most likely red. Um, and I, I was gathering Graph, SNX, Zill, and Don't. You know, I did sell my SNX, like I mentioned here, and I did uh, fund my link bag. Not fun it, but... Um, yeah, I mean, that was a, an amazing trade, you know, Don't was at 5 cents, Zill was at 5 cents, Graph was at 40 cents, and SNX was at 7 cents. So, like I said, uh, I deliver the updates as soon as I possibly see them, um, and I pretty much, you know, I mentioned what I'm in, I, I'm not, I'm very transparent on it, and, uh, I just think that this is gonna be one of those polybaric, or parabolic, <laughs> wow, um, rising coins where you know we do see price action ensuing like right now we we did get a little dip here but it's literally fractions of a cent like i said this just looks incredible um you know we consolidate it we came up bull flag came down a little bit bull flag again came up down a little bit and then we're just continuing that upward trend you know I was tweeting out about this at 29 cents, 27 cents. I said, listen, you guys don't want to miss this pump. It's going to be massive. And it, it is. You know, you're almost up 10 cents. Or actually, no, you are up 10 cents from when I was even showing it, you know, earlier, uh, which was like about a week ago. So do your own research. If you guys want to get into this project, go ahead. Uh, I kind of just read the bare minimum. Like I said, I always try to do that. Uh, and kind of give you guys what I think, you know, where we're going to be going. I think, you know, 2 to $5 is a, a very safe range. Um, you know, don't be greedy. <laughs> Get out when you feel comfortable. Um, but nonetheless, guys, this is Nick. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I apologize if my reading <laughs> was terrible. Um, I just can barely think right now. I've just been going all day long. And there is a lot of stuff to do. But I want to keep you guys updated. And I just cannot wait for us all to be on the moon together <laughs> in our Lambros and with our mansion behind us and just, you know, sitting there eating our steak dinners. Guys, 
Thank you all for the support. I cannot thank you all enough. We have been literally growing at such an astronomical rate. And it's all thanks to you guys. I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you all. Seriously, I appreciate it so much. Um, yeah. Let's go to the moon, guys. I'm ready. I have my moon boots on. We are going there. Uh, no hopium here. Just pure, real project analysis and... We look into the charts, guys. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Anyways, I hope that you all have an amazing day or an amazing night wherever you live. Thank you all for coming to this channel, watching this video. Thank you all for supporting me. This is Nick. Peace out, guys. I'm going to bed. <laughs>